This short video will demonstrate how to design a base plate connection that is loaded with shear, moment, and axial load using BA Connect. Let's get started. As shown in the detail, the base plate will connect a W12 by 120 column to a 24 inch thick concrete slab that has a strength of 4 KSI. The column will be 28 inches from the edge of the concrete slab in the direction of the shear load. Since this connection will be used at two different locations of the project, we will design it using two load sets, one for column A and one for column B. Base plates in VA Connect are designed according to the AISC Steel Design Guide 1. The program uses the same assumptions as the design guide and has the same limitations. We will start out in VA Connect by adjusting the geometry of the connection. First, we will make the slab arbitrarily large and position the base plate so it is 28 inches from one edge. Next, zooming in on just the base plate, we will adjust its dimensions, making it 19 inches by 19 inches and 2 inches thick for starters. We will leave the material as A36 steel. Next, we will click on the column and choose a W12 by 120 from the shape database. Now with the geometry roughed in, we can look at the project status and see that the base plate detailing is okay since the bolt base plate edge distance and spacing is adequate. Next, we will move on to applying the loads to the connection. We will rename load set 1 to column A and enter the values for the dead load and the seismic load. Then we will create a second load set for column B and enter its values for the dead load and seismic load. With the surface level of loads defined, we can go to the load case manager and select which building code we want to use for the load combinations. Note that the load combinations are automatically implemented based on the applied loads. With the loads specified for the connection, we can now turn our attention to the project status to see the status of the limit states that are checked automatically. Immediately, we see that the concrete bearing and plate bending limit states are failing with large unity values. Clicking on the concrete bearing limit state, we see that the bearing stress is an arbitrarily large value. To investigate this further, we will switch to the report view and look at the base plate detailed report. This report walks step by step through the AISC design guide 1, showing all the intermediate calculations. Under analysis classification, we see that the base plate is classified as axial compression with large moment in the strong direction. The dimension check for the base plate with this classification is failing, and we see a note saying that the base plate area is too small. To fix this, we can simply switch to the model view and increase the size of the base plate to 21 inches by 21 inches. With the larger base plate, we see that the concrete bearing limit state now passes, but the plate bending limit state is still failing. We can simply increase the base plate thickness to 3 inches to get it to just barely pass. But instead, let's look at the report again to see if we can understand the problem better and create a more economical design. Scrolling down and looking at the base plate bending demand, we see that the demand based on the N dimension is quite a bit larger than the demand based on the M dimension. Therefore, we can decrease the plate's width and make it a little longer to reduce the overall bending demand. Back in the model view, let's change the length in the Y direction to 22 inches and the length in the x direction to 18 inches. Notice that the unity value decreased to 1.56 from 2.12. Now we can increase the plate thickness to only 2.5 inches, and the unity drops to less than 1, and the limit state passes. The transparent reporting of VA Connect allows us to make informed decisions during the design process to produce more economical base plate designs. With the concrete bearing, plate bending, and base plate detail checks all passing, the base plate design according to AISC Design Guide 1 is complete, and the next step is to design the anchorage. In just a few minutes, we have used VA Connect to design a base plate for column A and column B in our project. Check out the anchorage design video to see how we can design the anchorage for this base plate in VA Connect. To try VA Connect for yourself, Head over to our website and download the free trial.